Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Bald Metal Nerd coming at you with another uh, video. Uh, in this one, I'm going to talk about uh, this item being discontinued. The iPod Nano, along with the Shuffle, is now officially uh, discontinued by Apple, and uh, you'll probably be able to buy, uh, you know, leftover stock, you know, for however long. Probably, you know, several months. I'm sure it'll take for retailers to sell through their stocks of these items but once these are out of the retail you know out of the distribution channels they're not making any more so does apple getting out of the business of you know um what i would say music focused mp3 players does it have an impact of course they the only iPod they're still going to continue to sell is the iPod Touch, which of course is simply an iPhone without the phone part. That's really all an iPod Touch is. Um, I'm not sure, but I think it has the same internals as an iPhone 6 at this point. And it's, I know it still has a headphone jack unlike the iPhone, but it wouldn't surprise me if like a generation or two from now the iPod Touch dumps the headphone jack too. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but whatever. And honestly, I think at this point, the only people an iPod Touch would be for would really be like a kid. If you want to give them the, quote, least expensive, even even the cheap iPod Touch is, in my opinion, way too much fucking money. But regardless, um, if you want to give a kid, like, the cheapest iOS device, an iPod Touch is going to be the cheapest way to go. Uh, it doesn't have a phone connection, so maybe it's for kids. I don't know. Honestly... I'd love to hear in the comments below uh, if you buy an iPod Touch, who do you think would want it? What would you do with it, et cetera, et cetera? I mean, why would you get that, like, say, over an actual iPhone? I, I don't understand. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, the main thrust of this video is, like I said, Apple getting out of the music focused uh, MP3 player uh, game. Um, you know, the Shuffle and the Nano were the last ones they had that really focused around music and obviously that has been an incredibly shrinking market recently um, you know ever since the iPhone not the iPhone I'm sorry the smartphone age came around uh, you know mp3 player sales standalone ones have pretty much gone off a cliff and I guess uh, Apple no longer sells enough nanos and shuffles to justify making more and honestly it makes sense from a business business perspective uh, on Apple's part you know, to do this, um, you know, as if, this, if the volume of sales aren't there, why continue making the product? Uh, but to be honest, I think for an extremely long time now, uh, you know, Apple's MP3 players have been an extremely shitty value proposition for what, you know, what you pay versus what you get. But then again, I generally feel that way about all, all pretty much all Apple products. The only reason I have this is I got it for free. I never would have paid for this. Um, you know... Like 150 to 170 bucks, some shit like that for this thing. Give me a fucking break. That's a ridiculous price. Uh, for this amount, for that amount, you can get a much better uh, MP3 player than an iPod Nano. You can get something with much better capacity, better sound. You can get a Fio and you know 128 gig uh, micro SD card, um, and it's going to be a much better experience than a uh, iPod. <clears throat> nano and a shuffle is the same thing it's like 50 bucks it doesn't have a screen on it you'd be much better off getting like a sandisk sansa or something something with an actual ui on it where you can actually interact with the music better you don't have to use fucking itunes to load the things up that's neither here nor there uh it's just kind of a little bit of an end of an era type of thing uh i'd really be interested uh to hear what you guys think in the comments below if this actually means anything or not or if it's just a kind of whatever in the natural progression of technology. I think, I don't really think it means very much as people who want standalone MP3 players probably aren't buying iPods. But if you are, if you are a person who loves MP3 players and if you're still buying iPods in 2017, I'd really be interested to hear why all that stuff. So anyway, that pretty much wraps this up. If you like this, thumbs up. If you hate this. Thumbs down, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.